In this video, we will understand important concepts of moneyness, intrinsic value, and time value of option. Moneyness Moneyness is the relative position of the current price of an underlying asset, with respect to the strike price of an option. In other words, it tells whether the option is in the money, or out of the money. Now you are probably wondering what is in the money, and out of the money option. For a call option, if the underlying price is greater than the strike price, then the call option is said to be in the money. Similarly, if the underlying price is less than the strike price, then the call option is said to be out of the money. When the underlying and strike are at the same price level, then the option is at the money. In the case of a put option, if the underlying price is less than the strike price, then it is in the money. And if the underlying price is greater than strike price, then the put option is out of the money. Now, let us understand the intrinsic and the time value of the option. Option premium has two components, which are intrinsic value, and the time value. The intrinsic value of the option is a function of its underlying price and the strike price. For a call option, the intrinsic value is equal to the underlying price minus the strike price. For a put option, the intrinsic value is the strike price minus the underlying price. Any premium, that is in excess to the option's intrinsic value is known as the time value of the option. One important point to note is that, an in the money option has both intrinsic value and time value, while out of the money, and at the money options have only time value. For example, Mac buys a call option of Infosys, INFY, which is currently trading at 900 rupees, at a strike price of 890 rupees, and pays a premium of 12 rupees. Here, the intrinsic value is equal to 10 rupees, that is 900 rupees minus 890 rupees, and the remaining 2 rupees is the time value of the option. If Mac buys the call option of Infosys at the strike price of 910 rupees, and pays a premium of 5 rupees. Here, the option is out of the money, so there is no intrinsic value, and 5 rupees is just the time value of the option. Now that you have a basic understanding of the call, the put, the strike price, in the money, and out of the money options, let us understand the option chain. The option chain looks like this. In the uppermost left corner, you can see the underlying and its current trading price. You can change the underlying by clicking on the view options contracts for. Besides this option expiry date is given. Option chain is divided into two parts. On the right side, puts can be seen, and on the left side, calls can be seen. The column which divides calls and puts is the strike price. Here, you can see that, all the information related to calls and puts are either shown in white, or slightly yellowish color. The white cells represent that the option is out of the money, and the colored cells represent that the option is in the money. You can also see that with every strike price, different information is given for calls and puts, such as bid price, ask price, bid quantity, ask quantity, implied volatility, open interest, last traded price, etc. To learn options trading and various strategies in detail, enroll for our free course. Options Trading Strategies in Python Basic, on Quantra. The link to the course is in the description below.